What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. Now a lot of you out there probably have heard of a company called Rooster Teeth who are responsible for the longest running web show in history, Red vs Blue, and many other amazing shows. But what some of you may not know is that they're also responsible for one of the biggest charity events run by an online group, their Extra Live 24 Hour Livestream, which is run by Jack Patillo and his wife Katie. Not only are they active in many other charity events outside of Rooster Teeth, but they just so happen to be big PC gamers. Let's go hear from them. Hi, I'm Jack Patillo. And I am Katie Ward. And uh, I am from Rooster Teeth Productions. I am the co-creator of Achievement Hunter. Been doing it for about a decade now, playing video games and making guides and stuff. And my love of gaming has taken me here. I am a voice actress. I do video games. And I'm also in the Rooster Teeth show Ruby. But I also co-host Extra Life with Jack, which is Rooster Teeth's 24-hour marathon that gamers can participate in and raise money for sick kids. I was a big gamer back in the day. I got my PC when I was really, really young played a lot of Doom. I would wake up at like five o'clock in the afternoon and then get online and play overnight and then go to bed around like eight in the morning. I did that with RuneScape. Nice. Yeah, RuneScape was my jam. Waiting for the dial-up internet at night. So I was always playing with the Americans and yeah, so, <laughs> so I'm excited because we want to play WoW together and, and cool stuff. So we're excited to have two separate computers, which means that we can actually play games together, which yeah. I'm really stoked about. But we are very excited to see what uh, GeForce Garage has made for us, and uh, I, can't, I can't wait to see what, what they have in store. Yeah, me too. Okay, so typically this is where I would introduce the modder that we brought in to help make the PCs, but today it's just me. I'm a huge fan of Jack and Katie, and I wanted to personally work on both of these for them. After talking about more of what they were looking for, we decided that although Jack's current PC is pretty good, we should move it over to a dedicated streaming PC so he and Katie can stream together. With Jack's new build, we went a bit more hardcore, while with Katie's, we leaned on the more green side of things. One could definitely say that these are both Beauty and the Beast. So the first thing that Katie talked to me about was that she was into nature and being green about stuff and the very first case that popped into my mind was the Inwin A1 Cube and thankfully we got a prototype one that had the wood top but uh, it was a bit of a softer wood and it would dent easily so I moved to a harder wood that I had CNC'd out by Jim Weiss. Unfortunately it was a little too thick for the I.O. in the front so we took it down a little bit on the edge thanks to Lee Harrington. And the other thing that I really wanted to do was do a window etching on the side. So I commissioned a friend of mine to draw her as a Disney princess. She's there with a couple of animals. And the only other big thing that I wanted to do was rainbow cables. I just felt like Katie's a very bright and fun person. So I made custom length cables and swapped to a small form factor power supply so all of those would fit inside of there. And we went with a couple of Corsair LL fans which you can program and stuff. Right now I have them on a slow rainbow cycle but I do have a bunch of other profiles that she can switch to if she doesn't want the rainbow cycle. The cable management in this case is a little tough I tried my best with these LL fans. They come with a lot of extra wires. It also comes with two little boxes, one for the fan controller and another one that helps control the LEDs on the fans. But I think it did a pretty good job for such a small case. As for specs, it's no slouch. It has an ASUS Z370 Strix motherboard with 16 gigs of G-Skill RAM. It has an i7-8700K in there with a Noctua cooler and a M.2 512 Samsung Pro SSD. And of course, it's powered by a GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. I know you guys may think that it may get really hot in this case, but there is two fans directly below it. And even under full load, it only hits 63 Celsius. So Katie's PC is a very small, but very efficient gaming PC. Now on to Jack's giant PC. Well, the couple of terms that Jack used to describe his ultimate PC was gaudy, huge, bright, and just ridiculous in general. So I went with a very big case. This is the Corsair 780T. And I'm sure most of you know that Jack is a huge fan of Doom. So I thought that a Doom themed PC was the perfect choice for him. I started off with doing a bunch of polystyrene work on the outside, so I have bits of armor and just miscellaneous pieces that just kind of bring it into that environment. And on the back, I tried to model what a door looks like in the newest Doom. It's kind of a maintenance hatch. And we have a bunch of decals that uh, tie in the whole theme of Doom. We have maintenance on the back, a couple of stuff that I screenshotted from the game itself, from symbols. Not 100% sure what they mean, but they're from the game and it makes it look like it's from that universe. 
The two major features that I wanted on this case was the louvered vent on the top. I wanted things to be very easy on the maintenance side of things for Jack, so the top vent is actually removable. The other thing that I really wanted to incorporate in the build is the lights that are on the front. Doom has these three little lines that kind of look like a flux capacitor everywhere in the game, so I wanted to put that in the case, but I didn't want to put LED fans behind it because that would drown out the logo. So every fan that's in Jack's PC is actually just standard case fans. I don't think I've actually have built a computer in the last couple of years without having any LED fans in it. So it was actually kind of a nice change. Speaking of other things that aren't really conventional nowadays, I went with soft tubing for the water cooling. I also opted in to do air cooled for the video cards. That way I could paint them and weather them and kind of bring in the theme more into the inside of the case as well. Another thing that isn't too common nowadays is that I don't have any RGB lighting in here. All I have is two UV light strips, and then obviously the motherboard and the RAM are RGB, but I have them all set to green, and the coolant is also UV reactant. It's a color called acid yellow, and I think that it really makes the inside of the case pop. Another thing that you'll obviously be able to tell on the exterior is that it's very battle damaged and weathered. I actually ended up just taking a giant file and just hammering into the side of the computer case. After I took a file to it, I tore the whole thing apart and spray painted it this like drab green that's very pervasive in the entire game. And there's a lot of sanding done, just taking down the paint that I just painted on to make it look more weathered. Another little decal that I threw on there just as kind of a little homage to Jack himself was his signature on the front of the case. I got his signature from a DVD that I actually have from Rooster Teeth that he signed and I copied it in Photoshop, cut it out in a vinyl and put it on the front of the case, which uh, I guess some people would call forgery. As for specs for Jack's PC, it is truly a beast. So we started with a MSI X-Power XT99 motherboard with an i7-7820X processor that's being cooled by an EK Supremacy water block. We have 32 gigs of Corsair RAM and a 512 gig M.2 Samsung Pro and a four terabyte Western Digital Black drive for his storage and capturing needs. And of course, it's powered by two GeForce GTX 1080 Ti's. Cable management was a lot easier in Jack's PC compared to Katie's because there is a ton of room on the back. So it was easy to route things around thanks to a bunch of zip ties. So that's about it. So let's pack them up and take them to Texas. All right, three, two, one. Open. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. This is amazing. It's all Doom themed. It is. Oh, is that me holding an owl? I think so. Oh my gosh. Oh, look, it's got my signature on it. What? That's actually your signature. That's really my signature too. That's fantastic. Wow, look at all of the detailing. This is beautiful. This is all my dreams come true. <laughs> It was exactly what I wanted. It was big, it was gaudy, it was bright. It's all Doom themed too, which is amazing. I think the, the awesome. comparison between <laughs> mine and yours was the very first thing I noticed. It was like, yours is an absolute monster. Mine is this beautiful packaged, like everything I need and want in a computer. Yeah, I, I'm super psyched really just to kind of show it off. I mean, it's like one of those things where you have like a piece of art that is also a computer. It really feels like, I couldn't believe how creative of Dwight got with them and how really beautiful they were. Yeah, and like apparently this was his first build, which holy crap, he just knocked it out of the park. Oh, so. I was gonna say that. Yeah, yeah. Same, same. Well, Jack and Kitty, I hope you enjoy your new PCs. I know I have these last few weeks. I highly recommend you all to check out Extra Life. It's a great way to support your local hospitals. We'll put a link down below. We also want to thank Inwin, Intel, Asus, and Corsair for sponsoring some of the components in these builds. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We'll see you for the next one.